advice do you have to homeowners? Practicing that preparedness. Starting the conversation now is always going to be a benefit to any association out there. Welcome to the Recovery Report Live, Global Pro's deep dive into relevant business and insurance topics, providing you actionable takeaways and valuable insights. We aim to update, educate, and inform you weekly. I'm Dan Odess, president of Global Pro, where we manage risk to recovery. For more than a decade, we have represented thousands of businesses and community associations in the placement of insurance and the recovery from over $1 billion in damages. We are your source for insurance news you can use. I first want to say that our hearts and prayers go out to all the victims of Hurricane Laura. As our communities pick up the pieces from this devastating event, we want to remind you that we are here to help. In last week's episode of the Recovery Report Live, I had the opportunity to speak with RIMS lobbyists about current trends and issues facing the insurance industry. We heard from an industry expert about the current complicated insurance landscape. Policyholders are seeing a rise in costs, a reduction in coverage, and in some regards, a shrinking market for essential coverage, such as flood. What consumers may not be seeing are shifts in claims handling and sadly, an abundance of unlicensed practice of adjusting. While consumers may not be seeing it, they are certainly feeling its impacts. If 2020 wasn't crazy enough, we recently saw a law firm launch its own public adjusting company, despite the fact that this same law firm has already previously failed to launch an insurance practice area. It would seem as though they are again trying to find new ways to break into this practice area, even though it would appear as though they still can't tell the difference between a flood and a water loss based on a quick review of their marketing materials. As the old saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words, and this speaks volumes. We find that professionals are constantly trying to find ways to circumvent laws that are in place to protect the public, to help their own bottom line. They are more there to serve the interest of their stakeholders than the interest of the policyholders. But this is a systemic issue plaguing the insurance industry, mostly brought on by the desire for quick profit. What sets Global Pro apart from its competitors is its focus on community. We put our community first. We care more about giving back and advocating for the policyholder, but we won't deceive you or play games. We aren't simply backed by a law firm. We have lawyers and other licensed professionals on our team that only serve your interests. That's the Global Pro difference. Between the coverage and premium changes and these shifts, technology is, in some ways, filling a gap. Here at Global Pro, we are doing our part by also making significant investments in technology to give consumers the information they need to make informed policy and claims decisions. We are on the brink of launching our first consumer-based product that will certainly disrupt the status quo and deliver real-time data to decision makers. But this isn't about being first to market, although we are. This is about proper planning, persistence, and payoff. During these tough economic times, there will certainly be winners and losers. Which side you are on has a lot to do with how you plan, your desire to keep going, and how you measure your success. I won't profess to be the next entrepreneurial savant, but I haven't stopped planning and pushing. I think the greatest challenge for some businesses today is finding a new way to measure payoff. Change your perspective. Spend more time thinking about how your business proposition pays off for your consumer rather than your business itself. Why do they even want what you have to offer? Help your consumer understand how to measure this payoff. Your payoff will come if you deliver honest, real results. Basically, reorientate your business strategy. This may seem simple, but in tough economic times, I find that a lot of business owners focus on what they need to survive rather than on what their consumers' needs are or how they may have changed. This lack of focus may be what got you into this position in the first place. You may have unnecessarily taken on risk you could not manage. I'm not suggesting that you lose focus on your needs or your business's bottom line. I'm simply saying that during tough economic times, people will spend more time evaluating their own risk. Here at Global Pro, we are experts in managing risk. 
We have worked with thousands of business owners and community associations in evaluating their risks. We are here to help. Huge thanks to all of our attendees that tuned in this week. Go online at getglobalpro.com, check out our website, click the resource section to read and download important information you need to be prepared. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel to watch today's broadcast and like us, follow us, and engage us on all of the social media platforms. We love to connect with our clients and community, so call us anytime or shoot us an email. Remember to tune in next week. We have a special guest joining us who will discuss how to develop, scale, and support minority businesses in our community. Again, thank you to all of our attendees for tuning in this week on the Recovery Report Live. <laughs>